I've been using the InShot app primarily to edit my video, but it's only on the mobile phone and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I wanna go ahead and buy a PC that is capable of doing what I need it to do as far as editing goes and get some software. But I'm not a millionaire. I'm a teacher at the moment and teachers don't get paid shit. I'm gonna keep a budget of $1,500. That's for the software and the PC. But that doesn't include any cameras or anything. Uh, I can go into that some later. This isn't really a channel about equipment. I just wanted to kind of talk about how starting a YouTube channel is for me, being new to it. Probably most of you out there that are big into YouTube, you've already started a channel, so. Uh, I'm behind the curve a little. So when looking for a PC to do video editing, I'm gonna look at it like I would when I was engineering. RAM, a lot of RAM, right, for multitasking. I don't know about you, but for me personally, I usually have like three programs open and a million tabs. <laughs> Graphics card, lots of storage. And to do that for under $1,500 can be pretty challenging. Apple software, Final Cut Pro, that's what I'm thinking. I know iMovie is free and it comes with the um, operating system usually, but I think I'm going to want a little bit more capabilities than iMovie has to offer. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just be throwing money down the drain, but who knows. As far as the PC goes and some software, I'm not really sure what the pricing is on the software. I'm guessing it's about two or $300.00 around there. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like astronomically expensive and I'm going to have to go somewhere open source, but I think I can do the PC and the software for under $1,500. All right. So we're going to do a quick eBay search because eBay is the best. I love eBay, but we're going to look for a Mac PC. All right, so it looks like we have some Mac Minis here. Uh, let's see, 2014 to 18 model. Let's see what kind of specs these have. All right, 500 gigabytes uh, hard drive, and it's a standard hard drive and four gigabytes of RAM. Definitely not gonna do it, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Six SDD SSD, not bad. Let's see what the specs are. So let's see here. Final Cut Pro got good reviews. I mean, I remember using this way back when in video production class, but it's two ninety nine. But let's see what it says here. Minimum system requirements. Mac OS 11.5 or later, four gigabytes of RAM. That seems unlikely. Eight gigabytes recommended for 4K. All right. One gigabyte of virtual RAM. 4.5 gigs of space, which that's just for the program. Let's find some specs on these trash can models. Trash can, trash can. I mean, this has 64 gigs of RAM and one and a one terabyte um, solid state drive. So that's pretty good. And I mean, look at that price. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's see if we can go a little more intense. I'm 12 core. Where is the RAM? 64 gigs of RAM. Okay, 12 core processor. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. But really, $800? Let's see. I think I can get a little better than that. I mean, I got $1,500 to spend. I might as well go all out. Okay. So, Mac 
Pro 6, 2.7 gigahertz, 12 core, blah, blah, 128 gigabytes. I'm assuming that's of RAM and not the, oh yeah. So 128 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte solid state drive, which is great. And what is the deal with the AMD D300? Don't know much about that. I'm going to have to look that up and see if that'll work. I mean, I'm sure it will. Look at the specs on this thing. But $1,300. It says right here that you can make an offer. I mean, it's never bad to make an offer. We're going to try to offer less than 1350 because let's see here. The Final Cut Pro is... Final Cut Pro. So like we talked about before, we got $299.99. Okay, so basically... Well, not basically, with tax, over $300. And then this being thirteen fifty, that puts us over our budget. So let's see if they'll kick a few hundred dollars off that. Maybe we can get it down to like 1100 or even $1,000. Uh, i will send in a offer and just see what happens. Unfortunately, the company was unable to budge on the price of the $1,300 Mac Pro. I decided to go the cheaper route and buy the Mac Pro with the 64 gigs of RAM and the AMD graphics card and one terabyte solid state drive. The company was not willing to work with me on the price, but they did offer to send me a wireless Mac mouse and Mac keyboard, which was really awesome. Tax included, the computer ended up being around $550. As for editing software, I looked into some open source options but ultimately decided to go with Final Cut Pro, which was around $320 after tax, leaving me around $630 left in my budget. I decided to spend the remaining $620 on a new camera and audio equipment along with some Google ad campaigns to promote my channel and grow my audience. Now let me finish unpacking and setting up this PC real quick and we'll get talking about the specifics on the camera and the Google ads I chose. Generally, I don't carry a professional camera or an action camera with me all the time. Maybe I should. As I get more and more into this, maybe I will. But right now, I mean, the phone cameras are incredible. Um, I mean, really, if you had told me, you know, 10 or 20 years ago that we'd have that kind of capability, I would tell you you're crazy. But Man, these things shoot pretty good video, and uh, you need a cell phone. You always have it on you. So if I'm out and about and something happens, or I think, hey, I, I need to, to capture this, or um, I have a good idea, I just use my phone, okay? Nothing fancy about it, just a phone. It's not even the newest version. I think it's a 12 or 11, I'm not really sure, but... It works great. Sometimes I also want to have like some depth of field in my in my shots and things like that. Um, I had been using a DSLR like this. Um, this is not a plug. I'm not trying to get you to buy this. Uh, really, actually, I probably wouldn't buy this specific one. I'm not even going to say which model it is. But those DSLRs do pretty good. And they're relatively cheap as far as... Uh, cameras go. I definitely want to maximize my remaining $630 as much as I can. So what I did is I went and searched for and compared different cameras online. What I found was the Canon M50 mirrorless. I surfed around on eBay for a few days and eventually found a great deal on an M50 with an external mic and lens for $375. The function of the camera is excellent and I got a great deal because it has some scrapes on it which for me is just aesthetics and I don't really care. It's a tool. That's my rig now. I looked at the M50 Mark II. Kind of seemed like the M50 was the better camera. 
other than having 4K capability, which personally, I don't really care about the 4K. Gotta conserve. With $255 remaining, what better way to spend that money than Google Ads? If you know of a better way to grow my channel with $255, please let me know in the comments. I set up a number of campaigns with different budgets and different parameters, which I will keep track of and talk about in another video, whether it was successful or whether I wasted that $255.